ready to go fishing with Captain Shira this morning. We're here at the Promise Ranch, looking forward to catching some lunker largemouth bass and to beat my personal best of eight pounds. about 93 deg uh, degree water temp today so we're gonna try to uh, catch some live bait to put in the boat so we can increase our chances and uh, we're gonna be fishing drop shot today because we're gonna be brought down about 40 50 feet so uh, so we're gonna get to catching some bait fish and uh, have you catch them and we're gonna have you bait them up okay do it the right way catch the bait put them on the hook land the fish <laughs> Have to worry about those little fish getting it first. Well, just let it fall. Some of them will just peck at it, and the bigger ones will usually. Okay. Come on, get it. Oh, I'm going to yank them on me. Hey, let's go catch a bass. Cool. Sweet, that's so easy. There's a little lily bait right here where his boat is parked. Like, and when we fish down in the lakes in uh, South Florida, you know, it's, it's not really like that. You usually see like little tiny minnows by the shoreline and by the docks, and we usually have to get out deep and actually mark them on our depth finder and then cast, you know, cast, um, cast my cast net onto them. So they're right here, so it's pretty crazy that I'm just gonna put a piece of bread on this little tiny hook and catch live bait. Crazy. Alright, so we're about to get started fishing and I'm going to be throwing some artificials but we like to put out live baits behind the boat and this is a bluegill and uh, we're going to have them behind the boat while we're tro slow trolling around and uh, hopefully we get that bite from that lunker. But basically what I'm going to do, this is a Daiichi Mighty Gap 4 aught hook and what I'm going to do is stick it through the upper lip right here, the nose of the bluegill, just like that. And then we're going to drop them back behind the boat and we've got a little weight here, so he goes down a little deep, and uh, hopefully we catch a fish here soon. Fish on! Last nice way to break the ice there. That's a nice one to break the ice. All right, first bass of the day. Gonna go catch the bigger ones now. This is a nice start for a hot July day. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about how we're fishing today. I am using a drop shot setup right here. I've got my little weight and I've got my worm. And what we're doing is we're moving along the finger channels in here. And Captain Shira is telling me where to cast their structure and different shoals and different types of things underwater that are holding fish. But what we're doing mainly is we're casting up on the banks. And the whole purpose of casting on the banks is letting your bait drop down with the depths. And it's really deep here. so. Um, you start on the, the, the edge of the bank and it drops up, drops off to 80 feet, even to 120 feet in some areas. So it's really deep water. You're trying to get your bait as low as possible on the bottom, keep it on the bottom, and that's where the big fish are now because it's so hot in the middle of the day. Um, so we're just working our way around these finger channels here, pit fishing on the Prom Promise Ranch, and I've already caught a couple fish, so uh, we're just going to keep doing this method and hopefully we land a lunker today. Hey guys, we came in for a lunch. Caught a bunch of fish this morning. I'm going back down this afternoon. But Captain Shira is making a, a delicious lunch for us. We're having fried gar from last night that Darcy speared. You can see that video. I'll put a link up in the in the right hand corner. And Captain Shira here is also treating us to some caribou. Now this caribou comes all the way from Alaska. So we're gonna have we're having some great game uh, catching. Uh, we're catching it, we're cleaning it, we're eating it all right here uh, at the Promise Ranch, pitfishing.com. And just having a great time. Yeah, so we're getting like a better meal than like we'd ever cook at home for ourselves. So uh, uh, yeah, I'm super stoked to have a yummy lunch and then get back on the water and do some fishing. So uh, he's doing a really great job over here. He's got a whole setup and um, can't wait to eat. So we just got a little sampler here of some caribou and it's cooked medium rare. 
just the way I like it, and I'm going to try it for the first time. I heard that it's very similar tasting to venison. It's actually better than venison, and venison is deer meat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and taste it right now. That was a little bit of a big bite. But that was really, 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 really yummy. And it's like hitting the spot right now. Really delicious and douchey, juicy. And um, I love it. Can't wait to have some more. Check it out. Caribou burger right here. Pretty sweet. I've already had some short nose gar that I shot last night, bow fishing. And then I also had some steaks of caribou, delicious. And then he made some caribou poppers with a little bit of cream cheese and jalapenos and then wrapped it in bacon and grilled that. Delicious. And now we've got some burgers. So we're filling up our bellies and uh, during the middle hottest part of the day and then we're gonna head out there on full bellies and be recharged, ready to catch fish. Hey guys, so we're done with our delicious lunch, absolutely delicious. We also had took a little nap to escape the heat of the day and we're back out here on the Promise Ranch doing some afternoon fishing for largemouth bass. If you've never heard of the Promise Ranch, the Promise Ranch is actually a lime rock pit that was mined in the 1960s. Then in the 1970s, the lime rock pit actually ended up filling up with water and it filled up with water because they ended up hitting the aquifer and so they had to stop mining obviously. So it's filled with gorgeous clean fresh water which is very unique to Florida's fishery for largemouth bass. The Promise Ranch is one of the most intricate lakes in the state of Florida and the reason why is because it has a total of 16 finger lakes, over 10 miles of pristine shoreline and covering 300 acres of water. Another unique feature about this lake is that it's very deep. Its average depth is about 50 feet, and the deepest point is 90 feet. The thing about this lake is when you book, you book the whole entire quarry, so it's private. So when your party comes out here, you don't have other people going around with sea dews, messing up your fishing day, and so you're out here for a day of catching fish. So it, it's extremely quiet, uh, it's very peaceful, the scenery is just beautiful, and the water is pristine and clear. So when you come out here, it's a day of catching and not fishing. Just caught a nice large mouth right here. And the water temperature today is 94, I think 92 degrees right now on the surface. It's really hot here. Um, so basically, you know, we're fishing and we didn't fish midday because it's so hot in, you know, Florida right now in the middle of July, end of July. And uh, because of that, we're catching a lot of smaller fish and the bite is just a little slower. I mean, if you think about it, you know, it's hot, the fish are down deep, they don't want to eat, They're, they want to just sit there and, you know, cool off. Um, so we are still catching fish. I caught my personal best bass, eight pounds. Um, so, you know, the Promise Ranch is a great place to catch fish. It's just a little hot today. Nothing you can do about that. Um, but we're still catching fish and having a blast out here. But Promise Ra Ranch is where you're going to catch big old lunkers for sure. Bye. Wrapping up our day, we're back at the dock, unloading the boat, taking our stuff off, and we're gonna head to the Mission Inn Resort for the night. We had an awesome day today with Captain Shira. We ended up catching a bunch of fish, a bunch of largemouth bass. It was a little on the hot side today, so we made sure we weren't fishing during the hottest portion of the day. We had an amazing lunch together. He cooked up some awesome caribou and some of the gar that we caught. So uh, just to, overall, just an awesome day. Be sure to check out Captain Chira of pitfishing.com on the Promise Ranch. 
check it out. It's a really unique, awesome place. If you're in the area or you're in Florida and you love to bass fish, you want to catch your first bass or your 100th bass, be sure to check out Captain Shira and hook it up and call him for a charter. And um, all that information will be in the description below, so check that out. And if you have any comments or anything you want to say about this video, please be sure to comment as well. I'll be replying to you guys. And like always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that I'm doing my job good. And um, subscribe. So until the next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.